Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you what the symbols mean in the Microsoft Teams chat. First, we'll look at the status symbols. Then we'll talk about the message composition symbols. And finally, we'll show you the chat box symbols. Presence or status symbols denote a specific availability, some of which can be set by the user, while others are configured by Teams automatically. You'll notice these symbols next to the profile images. To set your status, click your profile image in the top right. Then select your current status, in this case, our status is available. You can now select a different status from the list. There are also additional statuses that Teams may set for you. There's available, but out of office. In a call. In a meeting. On a call and out of office. Presenting. Focusing. Away, and last seen. Status unknown. And out of office. Now let's turn our attention to the symbols below the compose box. These tools allow you to add various content to your messages, including images, styles, and video clips. The format tool allows you to add additional styles, such as bold and italic. With delivery options, you can mark your message as urgent, important, or standard. The attached tool lets you upload files from your device, or from OneDrive. And the loop symbol allows you to add loop components to the message. You can add emotive images using the emoji button. Insert from a collection of animated images using Giphy. Send static images and memes using the sticker tool. And schedule Teams meetings with the other chat participants. The Stream icon lets you paste a link from Microsoft Stream. The Praise icon lets you show appreciation for someone's good work. With approvals, you can request approval from the other chat participants. For example, you could use this tool to request leave from your boss and the Viva Learning tool lets you paste links to learning courses. With updates, you can keep your team informed with progress reports. The three dots allows you to insert content from a variety of applications, such as Wikipedia or Power BI. The camera icon lets you record and send a video clip, and the arrow icon will send the message. Now we'll look at the icons around the chat box, starting with the filter icon. The filter lets you search through your chats. And you can also click the three dots to filter by unread messages, or other options, such as chats, meetings, and apps. The new chat icon adds a chat to the list below. You'll also see a two box on the right, where you can enter the names of people you want to start a chat with, and a list of names below to select from. If you click the plus icon at the top, you can select and add apps into the chat. There are also options to start a meeting. Start a call. Share your screen. And add more members to the chat. Just type in their name, then select them from the drop-down. The last icon at the top lets you open the chat in its own window. Finally, you might notice the small eye icon next to your messages. That means the recipient has read your message. And if you see a check mark, it means your message has been sent, but the recipient hasn't read it. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful. Check the description for additional links and resources. And leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.